doesn't help the nagging ass wife. Oh yeah. Yeah, my god, it's like chick should just want us to go see movies, right? I mean, it's better than the alternative. We could be sneaking around doing something else. <laughs> right? That's what I was saying. <laughs> but instead, we're, we have not We have to lie that we're going to movies. <laughs> that's right. funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah just, that's bumpy. It's a bumpy movie. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to put it that way for now, because inside is way too bumpy. Um, get it straight. Yeah, that way. Yeah, around that way. Oh, we should have we should have started going live in IKEA. Actually, <laughs> it's kind of an interesting space, actually. But no, it'd be weird. Oh, I missed that green. You're gonna go with that straight and then left. Okay, so uh, we're the Scatter Brothers, and we're gonna talk about. Actually, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this case off. Yeah, yeah. Anxiety, going to see movies that doesn't help. Oh, yes. what? Your text picked it up. That's yeah. crazy. Oh, well, yeah. Should have said so. <laughs> uh, you you had it on the microphone thing or what? She said yes. That's what I like. Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have sent mine right after yours. Oh, you probably yeah. only read mine. Oh, you think so? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. You never know with. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let me just see if this actually works here. Yeah, that works, right? But at the same time, like we could just get it all. So it makes it care. worth having the uh, the thing on there. And I'll just be going this way with this one, or like outwards. Yeah. And I can sort of do this, but with the case on it, which is what holds it up. Like there's all this reflection, so it's no good. So, yeah. Um. But yeah. So. We're gonna talk about uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers in 3D. I actually put that in the title this time, so we're actually kind of prepared. Oh. oh. Um. So uh, Super Mario Brothers in 3D with oh, Chris Pat, uh, Pratt and Charlie Day and Jack Black and are there any like secret um secret uh, cameos that we we wouldn't mention. I think everything, everybody, everybody's name was on the preview, right? Like, yeah. So, so it's just a matter of not knowing which part they played or whatever, right? Yeah. Um. So we can probably say every every name that we know, right? Yeah. Um. Seth Rogen. And actually, that's it. <laughs> that's a, yeah. It was already a girl. Oh yeah. But, uh, I was gonna ask you who is who is that? I saw her name and I was like, I don't know. I knew. We can throw her out this. Yeah. I've seen her name before. It's like Maya something. Yeah. Yeah. So, not as familiar a voice. Yeah. He's a flicker on. I think the video will really pick up the flicker. Hold on. Um. It's, uh, oh, yeah. Should I get over? Where do I go? Uh, just straight. Are you going to go bomb 1604 right there? Yeah. Well, this looks like I can probably just stay. Yeah. I think so. Um. Oh, weird. I could actually see on this video better that your hand was like right there when yeah. you had it on the stream. But I couldn't see that on this one because that's all blocking. And so how is that? Because I'm taking video of that video. So how is it that I see that? Better? Oh, I was probably seeing a reflection. Right? Yeah. A reflection of your fist or something, right? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to hold this here. For now. So, um. Oh yeah, so do you want to talk about um, your thoughts on uh, Mario Brothers first, or? Um, sure, oh, you want me to start? Yeah, I'm all, I'm all talk. You're all what? I'm all talk. Oh yeah. I'm trying to think about from all the Brothers business yeah. decisions we've had to make recently. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was pretty entertaining. You know? it was, yeah. uh, it was done for kids, obviously, but uh, I can't go through that way. I don't know. That's weird. I thought we used to be able to just get yeah, right on. I probably could, oh, but yeah. I locked it to me. Oh. Weird. Um, like for, you know, a kid's film, it had a lot of, like, kind of, I wouldn't say yeah. adult humor, but, like, well, like, stuff to nostalgic humor. Yeah. Yeah. Nostalgia and stuff. Yeah. yeah. 
But so it's kind of weird, yeah, because that uh, that whole thing where people are complaining about it, and then the and then the uh, film studio put out the statement: "We made this for kids, not for forty year old, forty <laughs> year old uh, nostalgic fans." I know. This is why. That's why I can't stand that uh, that demographic that thinks that things have to be like I don't know. Like it seems like they're the ones that are always on. Yeah. We'll show the like, yeah, right. like video. Like, yeah, this is basically this is basically the true story that led to the video game, which is not, you know, I mean, it's not exactly accurate to the real story that just we just saw the true story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just video game. It's like it's like you play, uh, you do go through all these obstacles basically in that video game. So like, how could they? How could they make a movie that's based on a story that is all about obstacle courses and that's it, right? Yeah, basically. So, um, but yeah, it was it was uh, it was really well I think well you know planned out I think the way that they introduce all the di- different characters and yeah and all that. So like as far as what I know about Super Mario Brothers and what the actual story is behind the, uh, the game they, or whatever, they mixed uh, Mario Kart a little bit. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Super Mario Brothers. So, a little yeah. bit of the old, a little bit of the new. So, yeah. I think it's so silly to be doing it. Like, yeah. I don't really, I think it's kind of even silly to critically, like, uh, assess a child. Yeah. Like, unless you're a child. Like, you should ask I know, a right? Yeah, unless like, you're a kid reviewer out there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you have to put yourself in that mindset. And little things like that don't bother kids. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what's weird? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, speaking of uh, putting yourself in that mindset, why isn't there a 420 showing of this? <laughs> yeah. There's been 420 showings of other things, and I've yeah, like thought, are they doing that on purpose to get more stoners in at that time or right. something? Like, is there a 420 showing? No, I don't think there is. I mean, there might be of a 2D. I don't know. But, yeah. But yeah it's it's should have be, I mean, they should have more showings that are not just during the day when we, you know, you just happen to have a day off. Yeah. Like, they didn't know that. Like, they're, they're just putting it at the, during the daytime so that... 3D can fail or something. Or just not, not thinking. I think I just trying to fit it in wherever they don't want kids to see them. Right there's some wires. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's kind of. But, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, definitely go see this on the big screen and see it in yeah. 3D. That's, that's for sure. Yeah, right? I did. Yeah. It does go Yeah. Get a chance. Yeah. Other tunnels. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, no, we're gonna go Boulevard. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, it's like you almost have to think about. Uh, wait, what, what were you just talking about? What did you say? O'Connor? No. Uh, yeah, Boulevardy. Yeah. No, no. What did you just say about the movie? Then? About characters? Did you just uh, say something? Uh, I was gonna make a point about that, and now I've forgotten what that is. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. I. Huh. Well, I wonder what uh, I wonder what I was gonna say about that. But well, I was just saying like how people go on there and kind of like complain about stuff. It's like, yeah, and it's like that guy that was in the theater there with us. Yeah, like why do they why do people like shit all over this movie or whatever? And it, and I really think it's because they haven't even seen it, right? They're just repeating what other people have said. Probably did too. Right. It's crazy. Like oh, it's nice. just yeah. insane. So even if we were saying this was a bad movie, you should still listen. But no, I mean, I think at this point, any viewers that have actually watched us more than once have realized that they can trust us <laughs> on, on these movie uh, things. Because we've, 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 we've worn people away from certain movies. Yeah. So, um, you know. Just not many. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So you should definitely go see this um, on the big screen and in 3D if you can, because it was really good 3D, actually. Yeah. Uh, I did notice a little bit of a double image, like um, like I did at the at the Northwood show, actually. But it didn't seem to be as pervasive, or it only happened kind of at the beginning, you know? Yeah. And then the rest of the 3D was all good. So it makes me think that maybe that Northwood's one really is fixed, that theater one. Yeah. And uh, and that there's... Um, it's so amazing if they you know? finally fixed it after a year. And yeah, they fixed it, and then they put all the show times during the day so that nobody can go see it, <laughs> basically. So weird. I don't understand it. It's crazy. Well, another thing that bothers me too is that they just put it all at the same time. Yeah. It's like everyone has their own version of the screen. So 
Yeah, I know, right? They didn't even bury it among the herbs. Except for Cory, it's like they're really just trying to drum up business for the Cory of them, actually, right? Maybe that's what it is. But, uh. Cory of a bunch of show? Yeah, it has like three or four, I think. Oh, yeah. But then, you know, it's got the old seating, so. Yeah, that's probably what they're doing. Maybe they're maybe that's why. that stuff. I mean, that's sort of a popular area. Yeah. So, it's weird. It's like they would kind of upgrade it. Yeah. Of course, there's a lot of theaters. Yeah. You don't have to start one. Yeah, true. Yeah, they would have to yeah renovate one theater at a time. Yeah, and it would probably have to be during the time of the, where it's not like summer movies. Yeah, right. Yeah, when could they do it? Actually, I wonder. Like, it seems like it's not going to be uh, possible, really. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, well, I mean, movies are still coming out a lot. I mean, there was that skit on Saturday Night Live about like the movies, and they were all just talking about the streaming ones. <laughs> like, yeah. But the movie buffs didn't know any of the answers because they were only going to movies. But still, even though Nope did come out to the theaters, it was as if he didn't know about that one. That was kind of weird, what is I thought. Thing? But uh, it was funny because that was how they were, oh, he's going to pick up a kid. Again. Um, I guess they had to do with that because that was part of the joke. So, But uh, but yeah, I think that the movie, in that skit, the movie uh, buff would have known about Nope. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I yeah. was saying, well, they're all on your phone. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can watch them on the toilet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as much as they used to. Yeah, but they, that's crazy. the problem with today's society. They're just so easy. Yeah. It's not, you don't have to work for anything. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't have to go, you don't have to drive anywhere to get there. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, so, uh, you ready to score this one? Oh, the, yeah. the music was really good, too. They actually yeah. chose a lot of really good music. So, in a way, it was kind of for 40-year-olds, too, I feel like, you know? It was, like, music from our generation, in a way. Or, like, 80s, like, yeah. when Super Mario Brothers was out, you know? It kind of... Yeah, I think that, I think they kind of were trying to put something for everybody. Yeah. But, like, not so that someone could go online and complain about it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I mean, I wasn't Paul. Like, the guy behind us was really into it, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's like, oh sweet. Like, yeah, sure right. when they got like power ups. Oh yeah. Stuff, like, yeah. I guess maybe he was cool. like really into Super Mario Brothers. So like when it, yeah, I almost feel like, like I should have uh, getting that power up. I should have gotten that guy's information uh, for my movie club. You know, yeah, my movie club idea where anyone who really loves movies yeah. can join. And, yeah. I don't know uh, I'm, if I'm ever gonna do that. You know, kind of like doing these videos, you know, like just <laughs> randomly like, getting people's contacts and they're. Yeah. <laughs> so, and what's your social security number? Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you saw. Yeah. So, uh, well, I think probably the decimals on this would be uh, have to be a little mushrooms, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. So, yeah. Mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Sure. I could be a mixture of, uh, yeah, of all of them because it's never going to be made into an animation anyway for our video. So. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? That would be something maybe I should like see about. Are you getting these stars? Hiring, hiring somebody on Fiverr to do, you know, to do yeah. the animations for this. Because like, you know, you can pay people cheap to do like, things that they know how to do. This show? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we need to make it better. You know. We can't even see it. We just need to make it better. <laughs> no, it would have to be after I like combine the videos, you know. Yeah. So once I do that, then I'll see about hiring somebody on Fiverr to do the animations. <laughs> Or I won't. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so let's do the score then, yeah? Alright, so uh, on a six bullet scale, because westerns are the best, I feel like it's weird to say bullets. Oh, well, these could actually be those bullets, those uh, black bullets with the faces. Instead of like the, the, the six shooter bullets, yeah. We have, these, these have to be those bullets, right? And then uh, decimals in between will be. But it'll still fill up a six shooter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like a six shooter, you know, uh, cannon or something. And then, um, and then uh, the uh, the the decimals, which uh, number in ten between each bullet, are going to be well, nine actually between each bullet, are going to be um, the uh, what's it called mushrooms yeah. or or mushrooms or turtle shells, yeah, like it like a matter. mixture. Yeah. So um, so did you get that animation guy? Um, <laughs> this is your notes. No, okay. <laughs> um, okay. So. Yeah, actually, 
I feel like I wish that the Donkey Kong thing was a little bit more like the Donkey Kong, you know, uh, like, layers. Oh, yeah. and, but that was the only thing I think I could even think of on this one, so. So I'm going to say, I'm actually going to probably give it, you know what, well, I was almost going to give it more than five bullets, but now I want to give it a lot of those turtle shells and stuff, so I'm going to do 4.9. Four bullets and nine mushrooms or turtle shells. Four and nine is what I'm going to do. I'm doing four and nine. <laughs> four bullets yeah. and nine and nine turtle shells. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm done. I'm clouded. All right, I'm going to say uh, for me, getting myself into a kid's state of mind, I probably, actually, if I was a kid, I'd probably give him a much higher score. But oh, I'm yeah. going to go four and five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, still like tipping the scale over on that uh, six.